Hello and welcome to this edition of Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Fue Ketolani and I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Thanks for joining us for these reflections on daily devotional based on the writing of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Ihe Adiboye. The topic before us is actually a question. It says, nearer your goal and a bible passage is taken from galatians chapter 3 from verse 1 to 4. oh foolish galatians who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes jesus christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified this only i want to learn from you did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain? Indeed, it was in vain? That's really a lot of questions for a group of Christians in the early days. And maybe the same questions apply to some Christians or some people today. Our memory verse, Galatians chapter 3, verse 3. Are you so foolish, having begun in the spirit? Are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Our reflections. Any man or woman of purpose will be careful to conduct a personal examination from time to time in order to know where he or she is in relation to is or our goal. And this month we've been talking a lot about purpose. That is why Paul charged the Corinthian Christians to always examine themselves whether they are still in the faith. That's in 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. A pitiable picture was painted by Paul about the Galatian church in today's reading. He asked them the critical question, who has bewitched you? Who has fooled you? Why did you receive the gift of salvation and then not hold tight to it? Why did you start well and you have now derailed? Why did you start in the spirit and you have to now employ fleshly tactics to do the things of God? Why? I believe those questions are equally relevant to some of us today. Why did you begin the race trusting the Lord, but we have now become so manipulative in order to achieve selfish personal goals? How can we condescend to a level below where we were before we first gave our lives to Jesus? We need to remember one simple thing. We are nearer to our goal than when we first believed. I want to employ us today. Let us hold fast to the profession of our faith. If we start to do unbiblical things that we would not do when we first gave our lives to Christ or even before we gave our lives to Christ, then we are going further from our goal and that is dangerous adventure. How close are you to your goal? There is someone listening to me right now. You have been a Christian for so many years but you are not making a lot of progress, whether spiritually or financially, or even your job, you're just marking time. Today is your day of breakthrough. And I pray that you receive that grace to move forward in every area of your life. And may you never be stagnant again in Jesus' mighty name. Our action point. According to Pastor Adeboye, there is no guarantee that debtors will make it to heaven, including senior pastors, top Christian leaders who deliberately sit on salaries or stipends of their subordinates or deny those they, 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 they pastor their rights or even prayers that are due to them. They may pay their debts eternally in hell and I pray that will not be your portion and my portion in Jesus' name. My prayer also is that we'll move closer to our goal on daily basis and not engage in things that will bring us setback in the name of Jesus. Go forth 
and increase in good works today in the mighty name of Jesus. And do not forget to keep your goal in sight because you are getting there in Jesus' name. Bye. God bless you.